goofy historians is the funnest place to learn about history? Or is it the funniest? Welcome, everybody. This is a humorous history podcast, and we are the goofy historians. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on Native Americans pre-contact. Last time, we talked about the peopling of the Americas, the theories of early man's migration from primarily Asia, um, but also some other theories. Um, basically, we we discovered that they crossed, they figured out um, it was a log with turtles on it, and early man was dressed as a duck, and that's how they got across the Beringia. We even have a photo of that to prove it. No, but seriously, last time we, we talked about early man, Clovis man, Folsom man, and it was an amazing journey. So be sure and check that out. So today we're going to talk about the ancestral Pueblos. And we're going to get around to specifically talking about Chaco Canyon because it's just wild and nobody really knows a lot about it. So a lot of questions. Um, but the ancestral Pueblos were the most dominant culture of the South west um they started in 750 common era not 1200 bc that i said last time although the basket maker culture there were people living in the southwest at that time um and one thing right up front we got to mention is that um the word anasazi won't be used other than in this introduction um it's just racist it means ancient enemy so i, I remember like books, like fancy coffee table books with the word Anasazi written across it. You know what? You don't see those anymore. Yeah, except except when they're referring to us. <laughs> we're the ancient <laughs> enemy. No, no, we're the ancient enemies. Also, um, when you're talking about um, archaic and paleo Indians, you shouldn't use Flintstones and cavemen. It's not politically correct. Okay. So, um, okay, so like I said, 1500 BC to 750 common era, there were um, the basket maker culture that was alive and well there. So hunter and gatherers, they really well, good. What, 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 what dates did you give for that? Um, what dates? Around 1500 BCE to 750 common yeah, era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the they made baskets that were so tightly woven that... Um, they would actually hold water. What? Um, anyway, but to get to the Pueblos, they start at 750 AD and they divide the Pueblos into five, um, er, uh, five chronological areas, Pueblos one through five. And Pueblo one, 750 to 900, that's when they finally left those nasty pit houses and they burned them too. It's like, this shit is so nasty. We're tired of living in the ground. And they burned them and they started making Pueblos. I think. Okay, so 900 to 1150. <laughs> more, more, more or less. More or less. <laughs> these are really going to be more or less. Because some point. These, these phases, Pueblos one through four, is basically them just moving to different areas. Their, their, their communities were short-lived. Uh, and they were, they put them up quickly. Within a couple of years, they had built Chaco Canyon. They cut down 20,000 trees. Anyway, um, so Pueblo II was a nice time. It was rainy. There was, it was a lot of rain and the population boomed. It went boom. Um, from 1150 to 1350, not such a, not such a nice time. The droughts were um, pretty dominant and the people moved basically i think they moved towards they, they moved southeast towards like the rio grande area um but anyway they were on the move in pueblo three pueblo four was the last stage before european contact um 1350 to 1600 um, I think they were mostly had moved then, like to the Rio Grande area. But 1600 to present, we just want to mention a couple things. We did a video called the Abiquiu Witch Trials. 
And there was some funny parts in that video. It was so crazy, this character, Father Toledo. He so wanted to have a confrontation with the devil. He wanted it so bad. He figured, I think, that like, wow, if he could pull this off, he's going to be like Martin Luther King famous or something. But he... He, did, he, he didn't. didn't. He just was. They had the Native Americans had Father Toledo running around in circles. Also, was, in the 1600s, you got to remember this. Yes, yeah, so that that was one of the post. Yeah, so that was a pueblo, but it was post contact, and For it was sure. where the, yeah. the the Spanish were, were were trying to put these poor Father, pueblo Father Indians. <laughs> gonna, they were going to put these poor Indians on trial for being witches. <laughs> That's right. I want. I think that was. I think you know, for like, sure that was. But it's, that it was hilarious. after the Pueblo Revolt. The Pueblo Revolt is significant because they seriously kicked the Spanish butt. The Spanish had to leave, go back to Mexico City for like yeah. eighty years or something, or forty years, sixty years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting this. It's a lot of span of time. Yeah, yeah. So we better get. Yeah, the Pueblos were, um, yes, yeah, yeah. So I guess the the Pueblos, uh, I don't know, you can't, I don't know if you can use the word evolved, but they they were a product. They evolved from the basket matri- makers, which was basically after af- after the Clovis dudes, right? It was like there was like Nothing more happened. climate change, and the ice melted and flooded flooded north america which caused trees and streams and you had the archaic period all the megafauna was gone and they invented the bow and arrow and started shooting deer and dogs and stuff but eventually somebody brought up corn from mexico right and that's when they decided like you know we don't have pockets so we have to invent baskets right to carry the corn around in <laughs> because how do you carry corn if you don't have baskets right and also they had to like water the corn and so they needed something to like they they didn't have ceramics yet so that was the best they could do they came up with baskets but <laughs> that was the beginning once they of had capitalism. baskets <laughs> Beginning of capitalism. You know, if like, only they had you have something that you don't have to like have on you, that's capitalism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess they could make pouches from like bladders and stuff from animals, but they needed something more substantial. So they got they invented baskets, and then from baskets they, they sort of evolved into like uh, uh, what do you call it, like pots and pans. <laughs> From, from adobe or something and then from that they go well if we got adobe maybe we can make houses out of this and then they started making these little block houses they used to just like dig holes like hobbits right just dig holes and like <laughs> put, put, put like waddle and dab over it and that was their house and they go well let's, let's get up um, and they started and they once they made one little house they started putting two of them together and pretty soon they had like these whole strip malls Full of little uh, they didn't have adobe really back then they had like mud and sticks and they started but it got over the thousands of years they actually evolved into these elaborate beautiful cities of of, of you know of, of, of these houses yeah, but how would you lived. like to how would you like to have to live in one of those back rooms they didn't have electricity it must have been dark it's completely uninhabitable if you weren't in the front yeah, I guess that's when you when you get to Chaco Canyon, but that was a little bit in the future, right? First they were just little houses, right? They put right. them stacked together, but but and but but once you get to the to the more elaborate ones, um, yeah, it's like I don't know. It's like we get to Chaco Canyon. What was that even for? So maybe we can uh, jump ahead a few centuries. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so yeah, we Chaco Canyon up, started nine hundred to eleven fifty. It was in Pueblo too. Um, that yeah, was when the population eight, 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 eight was eight fifty to yeah eight fifty to eleven fifty, where they had the big drought and everybody moved out, right? And so, they got together and they were like, "Let's do it for real this time." And they got together and they were lots. like, "They went wild." Um, okay, so Chaco Canyon, all in all. 
it could have held 10,000 inhabitants, um, but it didn't. It, they say that it only estimated to only 800 people ever lived there at one time. And those were the people that were must have been working on it or the people that were trading there. Isn't that yeah, weird? it's uh, yeah. Cause after we have all these in Chaco, so like before Chaco Canyon, you had these little little hats, huts, these these adobe houses that they just sort of organically stuck next to each other, right? Like somebody gets married, they just throw up some more wobble and daub, and, you know, put a roof on it, and then somebody else. And when you die, you don't actually leave. They just like dig a hole and put you in your room, close off that room and build more. So it was more organic. Um, but when they got to Chaco Canyon, they said, forget that. We're going to do pre-planned. You're not just going to, it was like, it was like living in a planned community, right? Where they had like, a, you know, a board, <laughs> you know, where they said, what, what, what you can do with your community and everything was pre-planned and they, they got all the materials and they planned it up and they, they built it all at once. So there was nothing organic about it. It was, it was all pre-planned, right? It was almost like a modern day uh, hotel. I mean, our, our apartment complex, right? It was even like, like an amphitheater where, you know, you had all the apartments like in a half circle, you know, several floors high. And then there was like a plaza out front with a couple of swimming pools. Or what do they call them? Tevas or something? Yeah, the <laughs> Ball they, they have kivas. They love yeah. kivas. And there was multiple kivas. Every Pueblo had a kiva or five. And that was like a hallmark. That was, I guess it was a community area. It could have been used for spiritual stuff. I doubt it was used for playing a, a ball game or I guess it could like run in circles. Um, yeah, they always <laughs> had a Kiva. Nobody, nobody, yeah, and, yeah, and the reason nobody knows is because it, the like, Chaco Canyon lasted like 300 years, right? 850 to 1150 when the big drought hit. And, and, and it was in a it was a dry canyon to start with like that little stream only like came by like you know a couple of weeks a year and then it was bone dry the rest of the year so beautiful site beautiful buildings but nobody wanted to live there apparently because there was no indication of human habitation they had all these human beautiful buildings that could host 10,000 people and from what they can sell maybe there was a hundred people <laughs> living in it over you know or 800 people over the course of 300 years it just wasn't really popular um but you know my theory is you know what my theory is this is what happens when ancient aliens get a budget cut right <laughs> <laughs> like when, the, when, 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 when the ancient aliens came to the egyptians right they had all the money they needed and when they came to the maya and the aztecs they built the pyramids and shit when they came to the poor pueblos they said we're gonna build you this great complex and oops sorry we're out of budget we got to go home to alpha centauri and they just left this beautiful building just abandoned and all the mayans are going all the pueblos are going what, what do we do with it well, for sure. I don't I think know. That, I'll just I went back to their, right. own, their own little because, pueblos. Because the that makes a lot of sense because they also had um, a road network that was beautiful, yet <laughs> unfinished. <laughs> that just stopped. It's it just like these beautiful. Sometimes <laughs> there were four lanes and they were just like overbuilt, these roads, and then they just would stop. And, and they didn't even, there was they a bunch stop of in the, of the desert, areas. right? But those so you could didn't so go you, to the outlier areas. They were just like built so and stopped. You, so right. So you can tell. So you can tell where the Alpha Centauri ran out of money. It's right where, the, right where that, right where that uh, Chaco Canyon four lane highway stops. Right. Right. Goes, Sorry, we can't. We can't. We can't build anymore. You guys are on your. You guys can finish it. And the Mayans. <laughs> Pueblos are going. We don't even know what you were what we were thinking about. We're going back to our pueblos. <laughs> well, that's the my theory. Is, the other thing is that um, they they were trading. Okay, so it was 
not only used, there were workshops there. Um, they had tons of turquoise that they, that wasn't from there. It was like 50 miles to the Southeast, but they got the turquoise. But the most interesting okay. thing they found was <clears throat> these strange oblong pottery that was not something that the Pueblos made. It was more from Mesoamerica, more like, you know, Southern Mexico, Maya, maybe yeah. the Maya. And they found a bunch of those um, pots and they analyzed them and there were cho there was chocolate residue. Um, so it makes sense that they, they cocoa, would love, yeah. they love chocolate. It might've been a, like a chocolate cult. Um, the other thing that they found that they love to import I don't remember the exact name of the little bird, but I, I guess they liked, they found a bunch of bones of this bird that's only lives in Southern Mexico, like some like songbird, the parakeet. Yeah, I wonder if they used them as pet or food, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the it was question. The parrots, they, parrot know? types pets. Yeah, these beautiful, yeah. I, I, I'd like to think Hopefully that they- Hopefully they used them as pets. Yeah, I'd like to think that they used them as songbirds and it was for like the, the upper class, if there was one, that's the problem. All the rooms, archaeologically speaking, they don't see any forms of social hierarchy because all the rooms are the same. There's no elaborate graves. So how did they construct all this? How did they get the labor motivated? They had no bosses. So that's why your Alpha Centauri theory works pretty good. The, other, the only other theory is that it was a big practical joke that the whole civilization was in on for like 300 years. They're like, let's let's do a practical joke for real. We'll freaking, we'll get some of that, those, those pots that we can't get the chocolate out of. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, we'll, we'll really confuse them. We'll build these roads. That our, 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 maybe, maybe it was a bunch of liberal a liberal Pueblo people who said, you know, we're, we're going to help the common Pueblos. We're going to get them out of their little mud huts and we're going to move them into these elaborate, you know, government sponsored housing. Right. And they go, they, they, they all there. showed up and they go, they go, they go, we, we like our, you know, we don't need these, 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 these big apartments. And besides, you don't, you know, where's your access to water and where's your, you know, they, you don't have hearths. You don't have all the stuff we would be using in our little mud huts. So we're going back to our mud huts because during that same time, if you had these elaborate apartment complexes with beautiful rooms in them, they had what they call it, uh, exo check chaco, all these, all these little cities outside of Chaco Canyon that were populated, right? Yeah. Uh, one of the things that the, the reason they the reason they know this Chaco Canyon complex with ten thousand room apartment complexes and elaborate kivas, whatever they're called, and, and you know they had no trash. You know that's how archaeologists like date stuff by going looking at trash, right? And looking at what, what they were burying, what they were eating. And, you know, all their work refuge, there was none, you know, and there was like 30 people who had, were buried in like one room over 300 years, you know, only three people were buried there and they were all from the same family. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that, these are the only ones, they were the, these were the only ones who showed up. No, the, that probably <laughs> and, and was, stayed. that was whatever that grave was that went back through the, through the mother's side that would have been whatever yeah. ruling, ruling class that put it all together as far as you know that's the only thing that yeah know. so they put it together but then no, but nobody let's showed talk up about or, how it, smart they were because did you <laughs> did you see the lecture about the archaeoastronomy oh yeah we the, this is yeah, so crazy. After that. Oh yeah, so we got to we we got to say we know, let, let, let's put a let's put a note in to say where we're getting this power <laughs> destroying poor what's his name? Who's the guy Barnhart or something? Oh yeah, Barnhart. Barnhart. I can't remember his name. Yeah, he was the guy. Groundhart. Yeah, he, he he he's the guy that didn't believe that they played that the ball courts were used to play ball. Yeah, Barnhart is great because he couldn't Edwin find Barnhart. any balls. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the the Poca Con. Yeah, he didn't believe the ball courts. I go. Obviously, he's never played baseball, man. You always, you never, you never come home with as many balls as you you went with. They all just disappear. 
especially if you're, you know, like maybe they had like tennis type balls and man, and they, that, I don't care what environment you in they're they're not going to last. Right. Um, so the fact, well, I mean, his, 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 the reason, the reason he said they can't be ballparks is because they never found any balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably, probably they were taken by the, 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 uh, the aliens, the Alpha Centaurians. Like, we're taking you, you guys. He says you guys are not evolving fast enough because you're playing too many sports. We're gonna take your balls and go home until you guys actually start uh, building something. And then they say, okay, we're we're gonna go build the Chaco Canyon. <laughs> Maybe you'll be back. <laughs> Right. So Edwin Barnhart also has this, um, he's friends with this lady that does the Solstice Project. And this was, um, so it, towards this, um, I think, I don't know, the, the south side of the Chaco Canyon, there's this butte, Fajada Butte, and it stands 400 feet <laughs> above the canyon. You can't miss it. And um, there were these stone slabs up there and and i don't even know how they got up there but archaeologists archaeologists are pretty determined um so they were up there looking around and they they figured out that these stone slabs were they ended up calling it the sun dagger it was a astro um archaeological thing where they could figure out astronomy um, astro yeah archaeology yeah so and then they yeah, were like yeah, oh yeah, that's yeah. a trip so that caused them to look at everything else and every building in that whole place. Cause it was pre, you know, pre-planned design that was, um, you know, the, in line with the lunar and the, um, all this stuff, they even were so advanced that they had daylight savings time accounted for. <laughs> daylight savings time. Yeah. <laughs> they showed up, you know, but if you talk about how hard it was for the archaeologists to get up here, how do you think those poor Mayans, the, the, I keep saying Mayans, those poor Pueblans got up there. They got these big slabs, these big flat slabs like tables that they moved to the top of this butte that they could align up with the with the solar solar equinox and the, the solar, the summer solstice and the winter solstice and little daggers of light came between these little rocks. And once you see that little stagger, you go, oh man, it's the, it's the end of summer or it's the middle of winter. You know, it's like, as if you didn't know, right? But I guess, you know, you needed to get, so you knew when to start planting your, your corn, right? Um, that they, that they, that they, they, they were trying this to plant. This is so crazy. I, I just people. can't. I just can't see how they did it. Uh, I had to put in a mailbox recently and I had to dig a hole that was 12 inches deep. Um, it took me hours and I had a shovel um, and, I, and I'm still sore. I, I just can't figure out how they could even, weren't they busy planting corn and hunting? Why did they have time? It's just one of those mysteries that I, I just can't get my mind there. Not just Chaco Canyon, but Stonehenge and all that stuff. It's just, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me well, of, you like know, maybe a, it reminds me of a medieval battle. I, it blows my mind how everybody didn't die. Yeah, <laughs> you know, well, I have, my, you know, my, my theory, my theory, right? It's like going back to your specialization thing, right? You know, somebody finds the flint, someone hits the flint, someone makes the arrow. Once you get good hunters, they can bring down a lot of deer, you know. And then you go, what is it? What are you guys going to do? And they go, we're going to go build a temple. Right. <laughs> they go, okay, you do that, you know. Or or the other people says, why don't you just go build a temple, right? Go, get, get, get out of our get out of our way. And they all went to Chaco Canyon, built it. Built a built a temple, and they go. Well, that's nice. Let's move in, and pow, the drought hits, and everybody disperses. So it could have been just, you know, what are we going to do with these 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 nerds? I mean, they're they're not good for hunting, right? They're they're not good for actual technical work, right? You know, maybe we'll have them design a religion or something. Look at the stars. Why don't you spend all night looking at the stars? Why don't you do that? That would be your job. So it's like what they did to uh, Daniel Webster during the revolution. They go. Daniel, why don't you just go make a dictionary? <laughs> well, while the rest of us, well, they go, what? Yeah, yeah, you just go to find every word in the English language. 
that's when you know, that's what they, no, they, like, they, they, they like set these people to, to create. As soon as you have calories sorted out, you, they just they don't relax. They just got to do something. But it's all about calories. If you didn't have yeah, calories, especially if they, especially I mean I mean I mean chocolate has a lot of caffeine in it, right? So they probably they admitted they probably found coffee. Coffee beans. There was probably coca in there. There's probably yeah. they're like high on cocaine. They're 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 eating chocolate and they're and they're smoking, right? And and they have caffeine. It's like Jesus. I'm surprised they didn't do more. What they did four do, stories. like Let's like, keep going. <laughs> but there were four four stories. <laughs> four stars. Let's build one inside. Let's build one inside inside the cliff place. <laughs> that would be good. Give me some more, more coffee. coffee, please. Some more chocolate. Yeah, you yeah, know, four and, and, stories yeah. is, the, is the perfect height. Um, it, it, like, um, I don't know. That was um, that was the height yeah, that, yeah. that they would always stop at in um, the Medici's. Okay, so anyway, I think that's it. I think we solved it. <laughs> I think we solved it. It was either um yeah, aliens or it was uh they all got in on a practical coffee it's, it's crazy yeah it's crazy. <laughs> i like the coffee theory they just they invented coffee and didn't know when to stop we got to talk about one more people the, the mogayo which were the to the south right of of of, of, of the pueblo and there, there was there was the ancestral pueblos then there was the mojadon and they were cool people too just because of they didn't make any of the, they didn't waste time doing these Chaco Canyons or this mess of Verity, you know, cliff, cliff palaces. They pretty much kept to their little mud huts. But when they, they did create pottery, little bowls, right, that apparently they used their life to eat out of, right? But then after they died, right, they buried you sitting up like you're going to watch TV for the rest of your life. You know Netflix, and then they take took your bowl and they put it on your head, and these bowls were like um, so you died with a you died they 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 took your bowl they cleaned it out because you've been eating you know, with it all your life, and then they painted this beautiful, beautiful paintings. We we have Haley put these. This not it's not like the the people up with the pueblos or you know the other you know with the you know the the navajo you know with the geometric forms these were animals and people doing daily activities they were so vibrant and full of life and colorful and they didn't sell them there, there was never they, you, none of these got up to chaco canyon or down to the mayans or the incas or anybody they just the only thing these paintings were used for was to put on your head when you died and 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 and, and that was and it went on for hundreds of years, and they Death pretty cult. soon they started founding, <laughs> finding this pottery. Yeah, talk about a cool, talk about a cool cult. And they no, put they had these bowls, cult. and they knocked out what a hole that? in the middle of the so, bowl so you know, so, so like the do? spirit of your brain could could go through the the hole. <laughs> right, right. They did. They put a little hole in the bowl. So that's it. What, what did they do when no one was dying? Or what if? Come on. <laughs> When no one was done. Like, okay, so you know what's funny? Okay, so okay, so the Mogion had the bowls on their head. The yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The the Hohokam, it's at the same time, which was a little bit west of that, built these elaborate canals. The Pueblos canals, built, yeah, right. The Pueblos built which uh, is... elaborate Pueblos, and the Mogion built a hat. <laughs> For, but only when you only when you die. I think yeah. I think that that's so cool. I mean, they were so artistic. It was like the highest form of art, and it was just for when you died, and you got to sit up. You know, uh, they I didn't lie you down, but they they kept you in the house where you where you died, so you didn't have to. They didn't put you in graveyards. You were like next to the people who you were living with. That's why they had to keep adding little rooms. Right. I don't know. You know. Yeah. But still, that's kind of nasty. Like the next room, I, I, I wonder if, like, one of you, if you were, if you were, if you were eating and you broke your bowl, <laughs> you know, I wonder if I could go borrow uh -huh. Grandpa's bowl for the night. 
<laughs> until I could get yeah, mine fixed. Hole in it. That's why they put the hole in it. So <laughs> that's what, that's why they put the hole in it. So so you won't have grave robbers stealing your stealing your 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 death hat, your death bull hat. Uh, yeah. What was right. good about the what was the other one? The uh Hokadine, uh, Hoko Ho -ho the, the 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 ones who make the, yeah, the um they made these great canals, which what's great about these can, canals is that they they not only made the canals, you can see where they did this massive maintenance project project, right? Where they, they were not only making these canals, I mean maintenance is huge, right? If you ever owned a house, right? Maintenance is huge. So they 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 made these and they did maintenance um to keep them going for years and years and years until finally they got actually got flooded out at one point. And they actually, so when the uh, the white dudes came later, they actually took these canals that they had made, the Hokokan, and, you know, used them for their own irrigation. We, we can get have, have a picture of that too with these new... Yeah, they still have them in Phoenix. These new canals were actually... Yeah, it's, it's great. So uh, so they're amazing too, but they, none of these people ever got a written language. Apparently none of, none of them created the wheel. But uh, if you have enough coffee, I guess you don't need those things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we did. Um, we, we we butchered our Native American series, but that's OK. Um, if you are interested, you can. Uh, the Great Courses has some great lectures on Native America. We um, referenced this book a lot by um, Mr. Robert J. Muckle. And I guess that's it. Um, stay tuned. We're going to do a couple more here before the end of the year um, on Christmas myths. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Goofy Historians is the funnest place to learn about history. Or is it the funniest? Does history repeat itself? Eh, not really. But sometimes it kind of rhymes. <laughs>